But these allegations against Neswadia have only blown the lid off the tumultuous relationship that these two business partners have shared while they were cordial to each other even after their split. Her charges only proving otherwise. Here's a report on how things really changed between the two individuals over the last seven years. May 30th, 2014, at the Vankhede Stadium in Mumbai. A night of celebrations for Kings 11 Punjab. But the owners clearly don't seem happy. The heated fight moments ago, defining their body language. So bad was the argument that Neswadia allegedly abused and humiliated his ex-girlfriend and business partner Preeti Zinta in full public view. The damning allegations in her FIR only showing that all hasn't been well between the two in the last couple of years. Closest close to Preeti Zinta had been telling us from last night that this is not an isolated incident. What happened on May 30th at Wankade Stadium is not a one-off incident and she's not decided to just, you know, go and file a police complaint based on this one incident alone. But it's now seeming like, you know, five years of constant fights, of abuse, of aggression on Ness's part reportedly that has led to Preeti Zinta, you know, taking this chance, what uh, kind of coming as a last straw for her to kind of seek legal recourse in this matter. Just a year after they bought the IPL team in 2008, the two called off their five-year-old relationship. An affair that was under constant media scrutiny. And why not? She was in the peak of her Bollywood career and he the sign of the Vadia clan. The split though, not hampering their professional relationship. In fact, sources say, when Preeti offered to give up her shares in the team after the breakup, the co-owners managed to convince her to stay back. Until last night, at least the media didn't talk about the simmering tensions between the two. And now when the team is on the upswing, the owners are at a bitter war. Bureau Report, Times Now.